Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and once again, we are heading out to Rancho Del Arroyo multiplayer in hopes of finding some trophies that we need for the lodge. This server is at Mule Deer time, so we're going to go and check them out first. And then I'm going to try and hit up some of the different areas for pheasant because we still need to get a rare pheasant for our multi mount or another diamond, preferably a rare, but I'll take a diamond if we find that too. But I figured I can't pass up on a server that's at Mule Deer time, so we're going to take a look at those first. I did decide to bring along the 10 gauge shotgun with birdshot and then we also have ourselves the 45 colt or only this time we're using the 410 birdshot shells in it so this should be kind of interesting if we actually get to use them oh my oh my gosh this herd that is insane this is absolutely amazing to see there's a piebald right there and then we also got ourselves an albino doe actually that's another piebald doe never mind but that's still crazy. This is why I've been really liking the mule deer hunting on Rancho. Almost every server that I've joined, I've had something like this. Uh, we're not going to take the doe because we don't really need it, but we will go ahead and take out that buck. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here, but this is one of the amazing things about fresh servers and why I just love hunting them. Almost any time you get on a fresh server or a server from a brand new player, there's always stuff like this on their map and it's just so cool to see. Uh, let's try to get a shot on this guy. We're going to leave the doe for somebody else to take though because I'm not going to put it in my lodge anyway, so I might as well just let somebody else get it. But let's see if we can get this guy down once he raises his head. It might have been high, but I think we got him. Yeah, that definitely took him out. Uh, we're going to let her go, and then I don't think there was anything else too notable. But that's pretty cool. That's a good way to start it out. First lake, and we find ourselves two piebalds. And I mean, that explains it right there. Level 17 host, along with Rancho being a map that just came out. I would... I'd be willing to bet that this map has probably not been hunted that heavily, so... We might be able to find some other good stuff here too, which makes me want to check for pheasants even more. But let's go ahead and grab this little guy right here. This is a little bit bigger than the last couple rare mule deer that I've got. Uh, we got a couple rares during one of the live streams like a week or two ago, if you guys remember that, but both of them were level twos. This guy's at least a little bit bigger and he's going to go into one of our secondary lodges, but that's a pretty solid buck right there. Definitely a good way to start things out. I'm going to real quickly let these guys know that there is a piebald doe here just so that one of them can get it. Well, that was unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> I guess he doesn't want the piebald doe. <laughs> well then. Oh, I am I am just conflicted and confused now, guys. I don't even know what to think. Ooh, this track is from a ochre javelina. And then we also have a turkey somewhere but I'm more interested in that javelina than the turkey there we go there's our little ochre javelina I gotta say the ochre is probably my favorite of their fur types that isn't a rare so we definitely want to try and get this down even though it's just a small one I believe these are considered an uncommon so they're not super easy to find but they're also not super hard uh, if we could just get to an area where there's not a ton of trees we could probably get this guy down but I don't know how long that's gonna be there, he is right there. If we can just get him to go sideways. If we can just get him to go broadside, this should be doable. And that's a hit, but it was not a good one. This might be it for him. I don't know if we're going to be able to save it. Well, we most certainly hit him, and it definitely killed him. But the question is, did we get any vitals whatsoever? Well, it's not looking like it. I don't think we got vitals on either of those shots, but you guys can kind of see why I like these ochre fur type ones. They have kind of a like brownish tint compared to the majority of them, which are more blackish or gray. I definitely like the way these look, but it does appear to just be an uncommon and we completely butchered both of those shots. That's unfortunate. Uh, We'll just temporarily save this little guy. Uh, let's just overwrite that because we don't need that one anymore. And then eventually, if we can't find a better one, we will just go with that. Well, you guys know I can't pass up on a 9 to 11 turkey with the chance of this being a diamond. So if we can, we'll try to take this guy out too. This is a long shot and it's been a while since I've used the Hyperion for a super far shot. So we will see. 
That was way farther than I expected it to go. Um, good to know. There we go. Got him on the second shot, so at least we were able to make the adjustment and take him out. And his buddy's right there, actually. Another 9 to 11 gobbler. That one also has a chance, so hopefully between these two, one of them will end up making it. So this is the second one we ended up shooting, and I can't tell what plumage type this is, but I like the way it looks. I think this might be light brown. I know this is just a common, 4.40. That's a decent one. It's not as small as the 9 to 11s get, but it's not huge. Still decent, though. All right, so this other one does have a light brown plumage type, which is my favorite of all of the different common plumage types. So I hope that this one ends up making it since the last one didn't, and it would be perfect because this is my favorite of their feather types for the commons. 4.50. Man, that was so close. Closer than the last one, but still not quite there. The beauty of this map still just never fails to amaze me. I'm just so impressed with the way everything looks. It truly is a gorgeous map at all areas. And when you're at the evening time like we are right now, it's just even more beautiful. I absolutely love it. They did such a good job on this map and we just got ourselves a warning call from a mule deer. But it does appear to be a small one, sadly. Oh, there we go. There's a little pheasant. Uh, took two shots to get it, but we did finally get a hit on it. Should die in no time. And, yeah, just... <laughs> oh my gosh, it dropped right on top of us. That's hilarious. Well then, I didn't expect that to happen, but <laughs> we did get it from 52 meters away. The first pheasant I've seen in this whole time recording, so it's been a little slow, but we did finally find one. So we got ourselves into another multiplayer server at 1416 and there's no zones at the best mule deer lake so fingers crossed we're gonna find ourselves a couple decent mule deer herds once again like we did on that first little section of the video because we started things off with a bang with that piebald next to the other piebald and I've been going on for another like 40 minutes and have not found much at all so hopefully this server will have something better in store and uh, hopefully there'll be some good mule deer at this lake. I'd love to be able to find another diamond one. It's been a little bit, I mean besides the diamond that we got the other day, it had been a pretty large gap between that diamond and the previous one, so if we could find ourselves a big like 330 plus diamond, that would be absolutely amazing. You know, that's actually a really big dilute mule deer, up to 299 on the estimate. That's a really good looking buck. I real quickly want to see how far he is. That is 323 meters. It's not going to be an easy shot, but we should be able to make it, I think. Provided we don't flinch or anything. That looked like a good shot, and it is losing HP, so I think we nailed it. There he is. What a beast of a dilute mule deer. That's a very solid one. I think this is going to score 270s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 274. That's not bad. That's honestly a pretty big mule deer. Not too bad for a dilute. I do eventually want to get another diamond dilute because the one that we currently have in our lodge is the really ugly rack. And though that's going to get fixed and it does seem like uh, when they fix the bugged rack mule deer, it fixes them in the lodge because uh, one of the ones that I had in my lodge from like maybe five or six months ago did get fixed with this update. So... I'm guessing all the other bugged rack ones that are for the second bug rack will probably fix themselves once they change, uh, once they patch them in this update. So I'm guessing that eventually our dilute will look good, but I still want to try and find another rack because it's not the same when it gets changed after you've already shot it. I'd prefer to actually get a good looking one uh, in game without it just switching over from our ugly rack. And I completely butchered that sentence, but you guys know what I mean. So I couldn't find anything good besides that mule deer in Rancho Del Royo multiplayer. So I decided we're going to come back to our own Verhunga Savannah map. And we're going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. Because a viewer pointed something out to me in a previous video. 
and what they pointed out was the fact that when I spotted a max weight, max score cape buffalo that you guys saw in one of the previous diamond with every gun videos, I don't remember which one it was, but it should be pretty easy to find. I think it's my most viewed diamond with every gun video, but something that they pointed out was that the score estimates were different when I was spotting them. And that means that there should be two of them. We already killed one, but apparently there's another one on the map. So we're going to try and figure out if we can find him. He was at this zone, so I'm assuming that he still would be. So let's go ahead and fast forward the time to when they should be feeding here. And we're going to see if we can get him to come out. I've been meaning to come back and do this for a very long time, but just didn't have the chance to. And I will toss the comment up on screen for those of you that have not seen it. And I'm assuming most of you probably haven't because it's been ages since I put that video out. But I figure we might as well see if he was right because I haven't had a chance to come back here and check ever since then. I've been so busy with Rancho Del Arroyo content that I just have not been able to do much else. But there is so many buffalo to go through. This could take a very long time. We have so many of them to spot. And my gosh, there is just so many cave buffalo. Ooh. Oh, that's him right there. Yeah, that's him. So there was indeed two. So thank you so much to whoever pointed that out. Uh, I don't have the comment next to me right now, but uh, you guys will see it on screen. I never would have noticed that he was here if you hadn't appointed it out because I don't hunt my own Verhonga very often and when I do it's usually in the drink time so I am very thankful that somebody noticed this because this is an opportunity to add another awesome K Buffalo trophy to our lodge uh, provided we can make the shot this is not going to be easy because he's tucked back behind everything but I think we should be able to make that how far away is it anyway that is Wow, 325 meters. I think we can do this, though. I think we can. That's him. Let's just try to get him moving, if we can. Uh, yeah, that should do the trick. And hopefully, he'll go broadside without anybody else crossing in front of him. I think that should be it. That should be a dead cape buffalo. And he is losing health, finally. Well, that's pretty awesome. This is only the second Bighorns Cape Buffalo I have ever killed. And it's just crazy that he came out of the same spot as my max score one. So hopefully this guy is going to be pretty big. I think it's got to be at least 156 for it to be Bighorn. So it's at least going to be a pretty nice one. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? We just crashed. We just crashed. No, there's no way we can get him now. No. Oh my gosh. I know you guys can't see the error message right now, but we just crashed. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we're going to relaunch and see if maybe he's still there on the off chance that he didn't die before uh, it crashed. But I'm pretty sure we just lost him. I think there is a pretty high chance that we just lost that Cape Buffalo. That's really sad. Please don't let there be any hunting pressure. Wait. Oh my gosh. We might be okay. We might be okay. I think we could still have him here. I hope so. Please tell me that we didn't lose him. I just want to see him. If we can just see him, we can confirm that he's not gone. This has been a very interesting hunt already. I don't even know how to feel right now. It's just a roller coaster of emotions. And I'm not seeing him. It's got me a little worried. You know, I hate to say it, guys, but I think he's gone. I don't see him at all. I think it counted as him dying, so... That's really unfortunate. I was hoping he might have still had a little health while I crashed, but looks like he'd already died. So as far as I can tell, he's gone forever. That's pretty unfortunate. I don't think he's tucked in the back of these guys. It really does not appear that way. So I'd say that's it. He's gone. That's sad. I can't believe we just lost a Bighorns Cape Buffalo to a game crash. Of all things to lose him to. Now, 
in the past, what would happen if you killed an animal and didn't claim it is it would respawn as the same animal that you killed before. But I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I'm pretty sure they patched that to where if an animal dies, it's just gone forever if you don't claim it. But in the in the past, they respawned as the exact same animal. So maybe there's a chance that he'll do that, but I don't think so. But if he does, we'll get him at another time. Well, there is the piebald mule deer that we ended up getting, and that's sadly the only thing we have to show off in the lodge today because that Cape Buffalo just vanished on us after a crash, so... There's not really anything we can do about it, sadly, but... I mean, we still got this guy, which isn't bad. It's nice to get another piebald mule deer. We've been finding a lot of rare mule deer as of recent, and we also got that pretty decent-sized dilute, but... Man, I'm just so sad about that Cape Buffalo. That could have been my second ever Bighorns Cape Buffalo, but it just got taken away from us, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Things happen. Can't really control it. And we will find another one eventually. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with uh, what you enjoyed about this video the most, uh, or... Actually, let me know what's happened to you guys in the past when it comes to losing trophies because it's happened to all of us. Let me know the most painful story that you guys have of losing a trophy because I'm really curious. This guy right here was one of the worst ones that I've had just disappear on me. And I'm sure that you guys probably have some similar experiences. So let me know down in the comments what your worst loss was in Call of the Wild. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!